And now, we welcome the mass pipes and drums. Drum Major Head Drum Major Vivian Dearden of the Wasatchin District Pipe Band. Would you please present the bands? If you're still standing, if you're not, please stand for the national anthem of the official and the official, excuse me, official national anthem of Scotland. The flowers of Scotland will be performed by the Larks. If they would please step forward and present that now.
and the Flower of Scotland. Excuse me, for, uh, I apologize for missing that. You now may be seated. We will excuse the color guard. And moving right along, what would the Highland Games be without the clans of Scotland? We now welcome the clans and families of Scotland in a grand parade of Tartan. If you recognize your clan, please feel free to stand, cheer them on as they march by. They will give their, their battle cry. Make sure you stop by one of their booths if they're out there. And I'll try to do my very best as they walk along to acknowledge their name in an in appropriate pronunciation way. Now, please forgive me if I pronounce it the way I see it. I'm not Scottish. I am part Danish and part Pacenite. So, you get what you get, so you don't throw the bits. First, we have Clan McFarlane. Next, we have Clan McIntyre. And Clan... Back in touch! Next we have Clan KK. Also we have Clan Riga. Clan McLennan. Yeah, we're gonna get in. Next, after Clan McClellan, we have Clan MacArthur. And Clan Cameron. Get your kill on and be here next year. Keep your right in the foremost. Right. We have Clan Hunter. He's a mighty hunter. Clan Stewart. Clan McThomas and Clan McBummer. How about Clan Buchanan? Coming around the corner, we have Clan Graham. I hear they come around here. And I know I pronounced this one wrong last year. I'll make sure I get it right this year. It's called Clan Levitt. stop by their booths, make sure you find them somewhere. You won't want to miss them. We couldn't do it without them this year. Should we start it? Want to walk in the parade? As we mentioned, I know it's hot out here, so we'll do this as fast as we can. As we mentioned, this is the 40th annual celebration of the Pace and Scottish Festival. It all started in 1983. Mr. Jerry Chapman, who was the band director of the Pace and High School at the time, always had a desire and a focus to have not only a regimented military-style marching band, but also incorporate that with a high school pipe band. One of the only two high school pipe bands in the state of Utah came from that. Mr. Jerry Chapman hooked up with David Barkley, the director of the Utah Pipe Band, and in the early, early 80s, about 80, 80, 81, started the Payson High School Pipe Band. And they marched with the Payson Marching Band all the way up until the early 2000s, right along, wearing the Graham of Montrose tartan. A few years later, 1983, Jerry Chapman and the Booster Band president, 
Catherine Pierce went and met with the Payson City Council with the hopes and dreams of starting a Scottish festival here in Payson, Utah. They met up with Don Lakeford, who was the uh, councilman of the Payson City Council at the time, and he became, Don Lakeford, became the president of the Scottish Festival here in Payson, Utah for the first couple of years. After that, he turned the reins over to Miss Helen Scott. And if you are a local Paysonite or have anything to do with the Scottish Festival, you were probably poked, prodded, coerced, uh, whatever it was. Back in the day, there was no Facebook, so she couldn't uh, say bad words about you out on the internet. But whatever Helen could do, she and Maynard would get you involved with the Payson Scottish Festival somehow. Hook or by crook, they would do it. Without the support and help of Helen Scott, the games would not be what they are today. Maynard, would you please stand up one more time and we'll recognize you, Maynard. Maynard would work tirelessly. Thank you, Maynard. Maynard would work tirelessly at Geneva still. He would take his vacation time the week of the Scottish Festival and he would come down and help set everything up, whether it was the food booths, the tents, the canopies. He would do much of it himself with the help and support of others. So, Maynard, thank you so much. You have well deserved that uh, jazzy that you're scooting in. We appreciate everything that you and Helen have done over the years. Sorry, that was my ad-libbing part. Helen was the board of directors for many years and her dedication towards the culture of her family, of her family lives and her friends live on, excuse me. But most importantly, last, excuse me, last year, we officially named the mass bands and drums here at the Payson Scottish Festival. And from this point on here on this field, it will be called the Helen Scott Memor Commemorative Pipes and Drums. So we're very grateful for that. In Highland game tradition, it's customary for the chieftain to preside over all of the events. It's now my pleasure and privilege to have Deputy Chieftain of the 40th Annual Payson Scottish Festival in Highland Games, Mr. Doug Wilson, representative from uh, uh, House Committee 65. He will welcome, he will have uh, Vivian, head drum major, bring the bands to attention, and we will officially open the games. There are many things going on here in Memorial Park throughout the day. There's lots of food. There's lots of co uh, competitions going on. There are band competitions, dancing competition, and obviously across over in the main big field is the athletic events going on. After the mass bands concludes, I want to make sure that everybody knows about this, we will do a drum major exhibition. In years past, we've done that here as a competition here at Payson Scottish Festival, but it's kind of died off, and so Connie Erickson has uh, agreed to do a little narrative, kind of tell us the history and how and why the drum major exists and what the role and purpose is, and then on this field, we will have the Utah Pipe Band lead yeah. the uh, exhibition for the drum majors. So, Representative Mr. Welton and our Deputy Chieftain.
tune right there was Highland Lottie, and it's also the salute to the Chieftain. The Pipers and the Drummers standing before you are all competitors this weekend. We have uh, Pipers and bands from Payson High School Pipe Band over here on the far right. The Utah Pipe Band. We have the White Peak Centennial Pipe Band. The Ben Lomond High School Pipe Band. The Red Sky Collective Pipe Band of Colorado. Are they here? There they are in the middle. The Garden Valley Pipe Band. And the Wasatch and District Pipe Band. The Pipe Bands will now honor us with two very common tunes. The first being a melody from an Italian opera by Rossini, which was made famous by Scottish folk singer Andy Stewart as the Scottish soldier, but is more well known by Pipers as the Green Hill of Tyrols. They already played that, sorry. So I'm kind of telling you after the fact what they just did. Dating back to 1854 and the Crimean War. The next tune they're gonna play is When the Battle's Over, or Over, which has melodic origins to an Irish song from 1805 called The Last Rose of Summer. Together, they're most of the, the most the most popular tunes played by pipe bands around the world. Drum major, carry on. Oh, you did that one before, also. Oh, now you want to do the Scotland the Brave. See, this, this is why it's the 40th annual because by the time we have 80 annual, we'll all be dead and buried, and we won't need to worry about this. So we are now going to do. But I think you need to come up and ask the Chieftain to open the games, correct? Yes, you do. Vivian Dearden. <laughs> hey, it's once again it's my pleasure to welcome everybody to the games. And I officially open the games, the Payson uh, Scottish Festival. Very good. Now, before the bands leave and exit and we do the, the drum major comp uh, exhibition, the bands will now counter march and exit to the ever popular and famous Scotland the Brave.